Hi, got kind of a windy day today, so I thought it was a good day to test my wind blocking device. And we'll find out if it actually works or not. In the meantime, I will give you an update on the garden. I'll go around this way this time. So you can see the wind continues to play havoc with my garlic. In fact, uh, on the end, the taller ones that are all still standing are the uh, soft neck, and they're seem to be much sturdier and the hard necks they were all pretty much flat on the ground and I had to put in these little wooden fence things and tie them up to keep them upright again and a funny thing when they fell over the uh, scapes as you can see there started stopped curling and started going the other way and then when I straightened them up again they're starting to go back again so instead of getting curved scapes or round I'm getting curly cube ones but I'm sure they'll still be tasty radishes are doing really well we've been eating them almost every night in our salads <coughs> and just plain of course and uh, when they're gone I'll put a second crop in the tomatoes are doing very well and as you can see we got some sun today which they love and I've got several flowers in there no uh, actual tomatoes have formed yet, but um, I'm hopeful I'll get some. And what I've been doing to pollinate, since I don't have one of those electric toothbrush that uh, so many folks use, is I just do this. And it tends to shake the whole plant. And I'm hope, hopeful that that will accomplish the same thing. An interesting thing I found, too, with this, these red things... If I can get in there to show it to you, way at the bottom, there he is. It trapped a, a, some kind of a caterpillar. I don't know if it's a tomato hornworm or what that is, but it's it's dead in there. And uh, so that was got kind of a, a beneficial thing, I guess. But uh, anyway, I'm real pleased with... Uh, I don't know if I ever mentioned, but uh, these are uh, determinant early girl it's a uh, uh, first time I've seen it the early girl in a determinant and uh, so far I'm real pleased with them they're, they're growing very well and this garlic was the volunteer one that's probably doing better than the ones I planted it's starting to no I guess not I thought that was escape but it's not the carrots doing quite well they're really growing and I've been thinning them out probably three four times I guess I've thinned out and it still needs to be further thin, but it's getting to the point now where there is enough space for them to uh, start forming carrots. The lettuce is starting to come along. The two that I planted from seed are not quite to the picking stage, but they're getting there. And as you can see, we've been picking these two pretty clean. The bottom is mostly just stalk. So hopefully, by the time they're all picked, these will be coming along and I'll be able to start picking those. The kale has been kind of slow going, but it is coming along. There's uh, quite a few plants in there, and I don't remember exactly, but it seems to me they uh, were faster growing last year than they are doing this year. Of course, it has been exceptionally cool and wet this year, and the beets have not done well. Uh, I mean, they're growing, they're still alive and all, but they're just really not doing like they've experienced in, in past years. I mean, we haven't even picked any leaves yet for salads. Although the onions are doing good. And the oregano, as you can see, is coming back. I cut it pretty much all down to nothing when I harvested it last time. And uh, that's uh, what's grown back. In fact, I just cut a few smaller ones today my wife's making spaghetti sauce and she wanted some fresh oregano to put in tomatoes uh, tomatoes potatoes are doing quite well and just to show you how the, the stalks are growing in there it's just like a mini forest only on the other side that same wind Put a big dent in there 
and that's almost the exact same direction that the garlic uh, was knocked down in. I'm assuming that it's kind of funneling through this area here when the wind blows from that direction and swings around and just kind of hits right at this angle. But I don't think uh, there's any damage to the plants. I think it's just a matter of that they're knocked over on their side. But there you have it. Things are doing quite well. Could be always be better, but certainly could be worse too. So that'll do it for today. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.